Come here, you. I'm going to take you up the Fairy Glen. But for reals, though, we're going for a nice walk up Rosemarkey's beautiful woodland path. With the daily updates, you can't make up. It's the Black Isle Correspondent. She lives in Fort Rose and tells us what goes on. If your isolation causes desperation, try the Black Isle Correspondent. If you're feeling grumpy, you'll find some company here. There are a couple of ways and paths into the start of the walk, and one of them takes you past a little fairy village. Who lives here? Hiya! Oh, look, this one's got a pond, very swish. And that's a caravan went away on its holidays. All right, fairies. Hi, mate. Anything biting? Don't scare the fish. A wee bit up the path from Rosmarkey Beach, you come to a brilliant opening in the woods, and it feels like the set of like an 80s kids action adventure film, like the Goonies or something. Look at the roots of this tree. And it has one of those terror swings. Look at it. Just dangling there. Uh, no, nah, absolutely not. No, thank you very much. Not a single solitary sausage of a chance, even as a child. The wood that makes up the seat of this swing is worn, shiny and smooth. How many kids have pushed themselves back up on those roots and kicked off and screamed themselves hoarse as they swing out over this big dip? Brilliant crack, but absolutely petrifying. This makes me raging. Why come here to a place where kids play, drink your beers, and then just leave the packaging lying about? Take your rubbish home with you. It's not that hard to look after a place and tidy up after yourselves so everybody can continue to enjoy it. I mean, what else have you got to do at the moment? Hmm. Anyway, run over, back out into the sun, Happy place again. Up the Fairy Glen we go. This mill pond makes me want to take up curling. You can just imagine having a cracking bond spiel out here in the winter, can't you? Now though, in the height of summer, the ducks are right into it and our dogs go absolutely mad for that water. They're in and out and absolutely reeking after a walk up the Fairy Glen. It's part of the reason that they're staying at home today. The best bit about the Fairy Glen is once you've huffed and puffed your way up the path, you come to not one, but two waterfalls. This is the first and we're going to make our way up those steps to have a kick at the second one. Ooh. And this is where the path gets a wee bit scary and there's a rope around the rock face to help you out. Yikes! When you reach the top of the Fairy Glen at the second waterfall pool there are two tree trunks like this where folk have bashed coins into the wood and made a wish. Hopefully it's worked. I mean, it is quite an investment. So there you are. I told you I'd take you up the Fairy Glen. And now I have, without a flask of tea. What a mistake to make. I do have a bottle of water, but it's not the same, is it? Anyway, it's all downhill from here. It's a beautiful spot, and we're really lucky to have this right on our doorstep. Well, right on Rosemarkey's doorstep. We can't claim it as a Fort Rose thing, but it is a smashing place to come for a walk. Oh God, back down the really scary bit now. Both hands, Massey. You just have to go. Oh, it's gone a bit Blair Witch.